What's going on guys? Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 in Sicily. Now today I've decided to make one more change to our diplomatic situation and that is remove Ravenna as an ally. I've checked they don't want to become our vassals and somehow they also don't seem interested in joining the Empire. So there's really not much point in having them around and so we're going to actually you know what we could do. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try one thing. Let's improve relations. And once we're at once we're at 190 relations, they might join the Empire, which would be something useful because that would be an added province. But um, once that is once that is done and they, they don't join, I'm going to drop the alliance and instead ally with the Papal State because they're just much more powerful. Now, we do have a truce with uh, France for another five years. And... Um, We've renewed a loan, unfortunately. And we do have another truce with Bulgaria for another seven years. So for now, there's not much we need to do. We can just kind of chill. Um, but at some point... Uh, I'm going to lose the prestige here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to do something about that. Okay, now all of our ships are mothballed. We're not paying for our troops. And we're also mothballing our fortresses. So that's a good thing. We can invest in new military technology. I think we should do that immediately. Unless, of course, well, we should have a look here. Um, that's not really representative. This is what I wanted to see. There you go. Okay, so we don't yet... 27, 60%. Oh, Leptis Magna is actually... Oh, yeah, that's it's because that's a capital. But maybe let's improve relations with them. Let's improve relations. Nah, whatever, it's fine. Okay, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait for the Renaissance to spread. I think that's that's all we can do at the moment. Alright, and why is this two armies? Is there a reason? Uh, eight, two, eight, two. Okay, well, we can split you up at least. Not like it's really necessary, but, you know, maybe. Truce with Ancona has ended. Now, Ancona is part of the Empire. Right? They are. So, we'll just leave them around. Having them around as princes is always nice. And we have Imperial Liberation on Swabia. But they would like to be allies too. But they're rival with Austria. And Westphalia and Aragon. So yeah, I, I don't want to have alliances that hate each other. That's not that great. Glerg clergy political struggle. Uh, support younger candidates. You know what, I'll just give them... Oh, I see. Okay, so time has come for the clergy to appoint a new leader to assist our emperor in the capital. The likely candidate is an old cleric with a solid history as a prominent member of the clergy behind him. He has, however, also acquired many enemies during his life, who now hope to see a somewhat younger candidate with a less ugly past to be appointed. As emperor, it would be... It would not be hard to influence this election to the younger candidate, who would likely be more loyal. To be seen to meddle in the affairs of the clergy, however, would very likely weaken the faction in the long run. Now let's have a quick look at our clergy here. When does something expire? A recruited minister lasts for a long time. A decline of the clergy does last only for 10 years. Emissary to the Pope lasts for another. Sought support will last for another 11 years. You know what? We can't afford to make the clergy too powerful. We can't do that. We have to go for the money, prestige, and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's the way we have to do this, yeah. Unfortunately. I would have loved to keep the money, but whatever. Now, I'm going to grab this diplomatic point. No. Demand military power here. I think we'll leave it the way it is. Okay, how many loans do we have left? We have three loans. Oof. That's... that's lots. Okay, why is Takro? What are you doing, Takro? Who are you fighting? Katsina, Tunis, and Yao. That's a... that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll accept the Axis. And Kiranakin Separatists are here in Morocco. Uh, our ally now. And you'll have to do a good job. Of defeating those. But I think you should be able to do that. You've got 24,000. Oh, we've actually got more men than that. 
Uh, revelry between popes. The previous Archbishop Electa was controlled by one of our rivals, and if Archbishop Electa Gregorius were to erase the work he has done by dissolving decisions, cancel papal bulls and dismissing decrees of his, then it would soil the reputation of both the previous Archbishop and our rival. So, wait, he did nothing? So, um, does that mean because France previously controlled the Curia, something happened? Is is that is that what this is all what this was all about? I think it it may be. Um, but we still can't excommunicate because their relation is too good. And they've got six cardinals. Holy shit, man! And Lucia's got four. We've got only two cardinals. Damn it, man. That's pretty insane. That is pretty insane. Uh, I'm not going to invest anymore. I, I think we're not going to keep the career under control. But that's fine. We can go for a new idea. Which I am going to go for, actually. National tax, 10%. That's, that's pretty good. That can really help us out. Because tax is actually by far the most prof... Oh, yeah. That was, a, that was, that was good. That was, that was a good... That was a good change. Alright. I'm not going to go for the military right now. I might want to invest in churches. I thought about this earlier. You know what? Let's do that, actually. The earlier we build it, the, the better it is. Alright. We've renewed a loan. That's fine. And... Oh, look at that. On an annual basis, bureaucracy gives the country a nice little tax boost, but sometimes the right man in the right place can give the country that little bit extra. It is a shame that a few years down the line, you have to promote them beyond their ability. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's actually true. Um, I'm not sure what it was called, but like there's this, there's this rule that everyone is, you know, promoted to their position of incompetence. You know, you're, you're being competent in your job and you're being promoted so many times Unless you're in a point where you just don't know what you're doing, and that's where you stop. That's why uh, people, well, that's why, you know, usually management sucks. Because the people there just don't know what they're doing. But whatever, you know, that's uh, that's not important right now. We are losing, oh, corruption very quickly. And we're getting more taxes. Very good. So this should be just tremendous. Um, look at this. We... Stability, incorruptible, and su successful bureaucracy is really helping a lot. And the empire grows stronger. Madeira has been added by Morocco. Holy, that's nice. So Madeira is part of the empire, but the Canaries are not. But interesting to see that Morocco took that over. Now all they should do is maybe fight these separatists that are also fighting here. Um, okay, they're being destroyed, it seems like. Okay, we've discovered an agent. That's fine. And we can also do something about France. Support rebels. They all... Oh, 900 gold? Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, none of this really helps. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this spy network. I can't really do anything with it. Um... I should probably just stop it, but I kind of want to keep it now. I mean, I've worked so hard to get it. I just want to keep it around for now. I think the Spino Grid does help us, actually. Doesn't it give us... Um, It helps with technology, right? I thought it did. Or did it or give, give us a bonus to power? I remember Spy Network helping sometimes. I thought that was with technology. That it gave a reduction. It doesn't show. It should show here maybe. Neighbor bonus 5. Uh, corruption. Courier controller. Yeah, okay, it doesn't show here. But I think it, it used to be that having Spy Network on your rivals was giving you bonus to technology. But whatever. Benign neglect. It seems that the government that governs the least 
The least governs the best. Ah, okay. As far as those outside the capital are concerned, our non-involvement has proved beneficial and the local economy is booming. So, Fezan gets what? We probably want to... Uh, local trade, manpower, tax. I want the tax. Thank you. Which is going to benefit most from that. Okay, and Morocco wants to share our knowledge of the region of North Atlantic. Accepting would let them discover seven provinces and give us 10 prestige. Absolutely. Morocco, I love Morocco. Man, they're adding things to the HRE. They're, they're you know, making meaningful trade with us. That's really cool. I really like that. And yeah, Byzantium is at war with Thessaloniki and Euboea. And they've already annexed one of them. Except that this is not yet shown. And the canneries are now added to the empire as well. Perfect. Thank you, Morocco. Now, only if only Morocco was... Oh, some very good news. If only Morocco was not Valdensian, that would be even better. But either way, Palermo is the new seat of a cardinal. Exceptional. And Herman is now well advised. Awesome. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that means we should probably spend some money on advisors. Improving relations, diplomatic reputation. There's two diplomatic reputation people. Venembert Albrecht. Berber Catholic. Sicilian Catholic. I think I'm going to go with the Sicilian Catholic. A statesman. And uh, I'll go with the military dude as well. Morale? Sure. That does reduce our income, obviously, but it's still fine. We're, st we're still doing fine, I think. And, um... Yeah, no military axes for you. Sorry. We can go for diplomatic and military technology. What are we in terms of Renaissance? 17%, 70%. Man, that's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. So we'll pay 20%. You know what? Let's go for this now rather than later. Um... I think that's probably the best idea. Let's, yeah, let's go for it right, right now. Okay, we can build new improvements. Barracks. That could help us out with manpower significantly. Although our manpower is not the problem. I think our problem is more money. Something that we need to do about that. Our monetary situation needs to change. And Aragon, I don't know who you're fighting. So I don't really know if I want to help you. Piedmont, Provence, Salzburg... No, that doesn't seem like I want to help you with that. Now, uh, the peasants want Ethiopia. Okay, that's fine. The Empress Consort of our illustrious Emperor, Euphrosine, recently brought us a request from her family. How is the Motluel of Morocco? Apparently, Duchess Beatrice is in dire need of money and has asked us, her most trusted friends, if we can contribute in any way. Her letter is filled with compliments on our great economy. I mean, we have improved our economy, so that's sure... Hundred ducats. Poof. Man. Oh, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot. So if we do this, we increase relations by 75%, which is not bad, but... Is, is that... Oh, look at this. So Duchess Beatrice is Valdensian and Francian. Her ear is not Francian. Look at this. She has a different culture. Is that our wife? No. Our wife is different. Because she is Francian. So. Honestly. I don't. I, I don't want to. I'd rather have broken promises. But I, I just. Man. I mean I want you as an ally and stuff. But. No, I don't like that. Also, let's quickly check out the Empire. We have... Oh, we just barely get the Pope on our side. But yeah, we've got four votes. That's pretty good. That should be sufficient to uh, to keep... The, uh, not the Curia, but keep control. Now, um, you technically, for the Empire, you need... You need, what? Uh, three votes? That's usually sufficient. But anyways... Um, yeah, 
Okay, so Ravenna is not really interested in joining the Empire. So I think it's fine if we dissolve the Alliance. And uh, instead, get someone else to join us. Now, France has Modena, Normandy, Flanders. Right, so who's your rival? Mongolia. Your enemy is the Levant. But the Levant is very far away. I'm not sure how much they can actually help us or if they're more going to be a liability. Byzantium unfortunately rivaled us, so they're out of the picture. Kiev isn't really all that powerful and does have cores on Brandenburg. So I, I don't know about that. And they do have rebels as well. Holy shit, man. So no, they're, they're not great. Finland is, has grown significantly. But they're allied to the Bulgarian Empire. Sweden we excommunicated, so they probably don't like us all that much. The problem was, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when Sweden dies? It doesn't show. This guy is 56 years old. Neighboring Catholic countries can declare a war without incurring normal stability hits. A Swedish noble succeeds to the throne. Okay. Hmm. So, who am I going to ally? Westphalia? But they dislike the Pope. I think I want to ally the Pope. Because... Um... We might be able to get the Pope to go to war with France, and then we can excommunicate France, and that will hurt them uh, significantly. That's the plan anyways. So let's see. When is the truce going to run out? Um, in... In... Two years. I don't know if we're ready to fight France two years from now. Not really, I think. We need to build up our military as well. So... Let's do that, maybe. Let's build... Let's create a template of... 8 and 2. And have you build here, that's fine. Good. We technically want to have 4 of those armies. Even though that is very expensive. Egypt is preparing to attack Jerusalem. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Jerusalem doesn't really have a whole lot. They have only one province. And yeah, I, I don't think that Takrua is going to be particularly happy with their war here. Against, uh, well actually Tunis is not going to be happy with their war against Takrua. Yeah, they're winning this. They're winning this. So, I don't know, if Tunis, uh, if Takrua takes these provinces, we might be able to take them for ourselves. Um, that's very possible. Mongolia, who are you at war with? Oh, holy shit, man. Mongolia is at war with many. With Persia. They're at war with Ming. With Persia, Sint, the Umayyads, Andalusia, and Galicia, England, and Moldavia. That's impressive. That's impressive. We are unfortunately not yet a great power. Because Ethiopia and, and, and so on and so forth have a lot more provinces. But there goes Egypt asking us... To go to war with Kiranaka. Um, okay, so we've joined. And uh, we have immediately raised that. I don't like that. Mothballah fortresses. And I don't want to pay for my troops right now. What I will do is I will unmothball our fleet. And do some protecting. Actually, hmm. Now they're just gonna be annoying, right? <sighs> Alright, fine. We'll pay for our... We'll pay for our army then. And I guess we'll go for war taxes. Thank you. Alright. And we'll send you to Tripoli. Now, there's treason against Sicily. That sucks. Recruitment is out of necessity, something that has to be somewhat decentralized. Often, it will be entrusted to nobles in the capital, and they are responsible to turn up 
a certain number of men in the various provinces under our control. This is a system that to some extent relies on trust, as the central government is not involved in the details of countryside mustering. And the only form of control we have are the often sporadic inspections the army itself conducts, as one such inspection in Friuli has unearthed quite a local scandal. The roles we have for the area is full of fictional names and nobody seems to know what we could actually muster from the region. So punish the perpetrator and conduct our own survey. The ability loses loyalty, we gain professionalism and unrest local manpower for 10 years. I think that's the way to do this uh, right now. Achillean separatists, yeah, they're not really going to stay around for a long time. Good. Um, you can just stay here, really, and mothball again. And honestly, you know what? I'll keep my ships mothballed because it seems like Egypt has us under control. All I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for these 6,000 men to arrive. See if they want to cause some problems. No. Let them turn back and then we'll besiege Benghazi and Darna. And perhaps we're even going to get something out of the deal. I doubt it. Unless. I mean, there's no way for me to get a claim right now. Uh, what can I do? I can, however. Go dip, give, give diplomatic. Can I set this problem? A war alley has, cl has claimed it. Which war ally? Uh, ally? Apparently, Egypt has claimed that as important to them. Well, you know what? That's fine. Then we'll not have that province. I, I guess I'm just not going to invest in this war too much. Either way, that was the end of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you next time.